whenever you're ready. So welcome to Monday Morning Meditations. I'm Eric Overholt from St. Mark's. And dealing with a question I've heard, uh, I heard several months ago on the radio by several different um, preachers. And the question was, when you get to heaven and God asks you, why should I let you in? What will your answer be? And as I thought about that, I kind of stewed about that over time. I thought, well, I know the answer. The answer is Jesus. The answer is what God did on the cross for us. That's the only hope any of us have for heaven. But I guess my big problem with the question was the question. I don't, um, as I thought about it, I thought, I don't think God's going to ask that question. You know, the God that, that um, left 99 sheep for one, to find one, the God that the prodigal son God that uh, ran to meet his son, the God that went to the cross. I, God is going to be asking is not, why should I let you in, but won't you come home? Won't you accept the love and forgiveness that I've already done, given for you? I, I went to the cross for your sins. I love you. I want you to come home. I want to offer you life, new life eternal life Eli eternal life as Jesus describes it in John 17 3 one of my favorite verses so often we think of eternal life as something that we do later after we die but that isn't the way Jesus describes it and it's really the only definition of eternal life in the Bible and that is as Jesus says and this is eternal life that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent you know, and that kind of changes everything. It changes everything from thinking about what I need to do to be saved to a relationship with our Father that loves us. And He's inviting us to know Him, to know Jesus, to live in friendship and communion with our Lord. That was Jesus' prayer for us in John 17, and He has done everything to make it possible. He has made it possible to walk with Him in friendship like no other, starting now and lasting forever. And sometimes for me, with, you know, especially some of the things you hear and everything, it's good to remember that. It's good to remember that God is not looking for ways to keep us out of heaven. Rather, like the father, the prodigal father, prodigal son, he's running to meet the prodigal and he's waiting to welcome us home. He's asking us to come home. I love you. And I think I just want to finish with kind of when we talk about walking with God and thinking about that type of life, Eugene Peterson's translation of the Bible and the message, um, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. I'm just going to read that, this to finish up. And it says, and it's, it's the verse that we all commonly know is, Come to me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But I like the translation that Eugene Peterson does. Are you tired, worn out? burned out on religion. Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me until you'll learn to live freely and lightly. So I hope that... Um, will be an inspiration to you for this week, and may the Lord be with you.